The next lecture we shall be talking about is Kawasaki's disease. Now, we're going to always start with a case in this lecture because I think cases put all this disease pathology into one picture. Now, this is under medium vessel vasculitis. Okay? This is a medium vessel vasculitis, okay? Vasculitis inflammation of a small smaller blood vessel. Got aorta, the big big thick muscle uh, muscular uh, arteries. And we got a smaller medium size and then we got a tiny little small vessels. Now, so let's talk about a case. A 2-year-old Asian male was brought in. Two year old Asian male presented to ED with six days of fever, temperature of 102.5 degrees Fahrenheit. You notice on physical exam, the child has bilateral conjunctivitis. You also noted that he has a rash and his tongue is red. Also, the patient's got has lymphadenopathy, cervical lymphadenopathy. And his hands are swollen. Swollen hands. What is the drug of choice to treat this condition? Well, since you already know the title of the lecture, you can bet you you guessed the answer right. The answer is the you know the diagnosis is Kawasaki's disease. Kawasaki's disease. Now, Kawasaki's disease is a very, very interesting disease. They love to test Kawasaki's because they can either test you on how to diagnose the condition or what medications you need to treat the disease. So in this case, this patient has Kawasaki's disease and the mode of modality of treatment is IV immunoglobulin. So if you see IVIG, intravenous immunoglobulins plus aspirin. Now, how are you going to be able to remember Kawasaki on the boards? Now, that's what the bread and butter of this lecture is all about. We're going to use a mnemonic known as crash burn. Crash burn. You must remember this mnemonic. Now, the first word says the kid had conjunctivitis. The eyes is very, very inflamed. So if you take a look at the eye, right, you see it's very, very red. That is conjunctivitis. Okay? And then they have a rash. They have a rash all over their body. That's why I told you the patient had a rash. And they have adenopathy. And what kind of adenopathy? It's cervical adenopathy. That's why I told you the patient had sub cervical adenopathy. So when you palpate, you feel like, oh, wow, oh, that hurts. Yeah, that's cervical lymphadenopathy. The S st stands for strawberry tongue. Strawberry tongue. So if you look at the kid and you look at their tongue, it looks like a strawberry. Okay? So they have a strawberry tongue and the age is hands swollen or peeling from the rash. So they say I have swollen hands, that is the age. And the last but not the least is burn. These patients have uncontrolled fever 
for greater than five days. Now that is very important. That is how you make the diagnosis of Kawasaki's disease. They have to have fever for more than five days, okay? That is very, very, very important, okay? So they've got crash burn, and you see they have all those symptoms. The patient has Kawasaki's disease. Now this is their favorite on the boards. They ask you, what is this patient's most likely De can develop like what is the most likely complication of this disease and you can guarantee you if you ever get this question you are gonna get it and the answer is they are predisposed to coronary artery aneurysms coronary artery aneurysms you must remember this coronary artery aneurysms the problem with coronary artery aneurysms is because they can rupture and these patients can develop a myocardiac infarction. So if this is the heart and that's the coronary artery and they develop an aneurysm on their LAD, right? So this is the heart. If you rupture this, what happens? There's decreased perfusion to the rest of the heart, which is the same thing as myocardiac infarction. And then they develop an area of necrosis, which is bad for the kid, because this kid is very young. So you want to treat them immediately with IVIG and aspirin. And aspirin is an antithrombotic agent. It prevents from getting coronary artery thrombosis, right, by inhibiting platelets from ad ad adhering to each other, right? So that's very important. That's why we give them aspirin and give them intravenous immune globulins. So remember, conjunctivitis, rash, adenopathy, strawberry tongue, hands. They usually have a red like erythema in their hands. And that's very important that you know that. Hands and feet, okay? Hands and foot. So we don't forget that. Hands and foot erythema with peeling from the rash. It's called a desquamatin rash. Desquamatin rash. Desquamatin is just a fancy word for a rash that's peeling off the skin. And that's basically what Kawasaki's disease is. That brings us to the end of our lecture.